everything on earth happened <laughs> because the, the hell broke loose and the, all of a sudden no supplies i have a family the the children are here uh we were we were paying some mortgage we could not continue paying the the house was repossessed uh i was playing around with finances and uh, i had taken just some little loan from from the bank mm. imagine at that time very little money and the the vehicle was gotten back mm. the vehicles went mm -hmm. all the businesses uh began now to dwindle at a very very fast rate mm -hmm. until i got myself to a place whereby no friends they all ran away i don't regret uh why i stuck with sam is because uh i understood that whatever has befallen us was beyond his it, it was not about him i was quickly i learned or i understood that uh this is something that has befallen us it some has not cost it it is even beyond him and so i felt the only thing that we can do and even i encourage my children mm. is that there's an enemy who has struck mm -hmm. and we must invade all of us we must join hands and kick out this enemy mm. and uh i must say that i encountered many people who were really uh, advocating for our separation just because sam is not in a position to even offer shelter food school fees but i i ignored we je passerai ma vie à dire à tous mes frères que tu es bon Hello, welcome to Tuko Talks. My name is Lynn Gugi. Now, every time I sit on this chair and bring you stories of families that have broken apart, my heart breaks too. But to be able today to sit with a couple that has decided to stick with each other for better, for worse, is really amazing. Before I let them introduce themselves, allow me to say a huge thank you to Amira Collections for this outfit. Msinio Naivo, I know I look nicer, but let me know if you want it you can get it on their online store and now without further ado allow my guests today to introduce themselves hello 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 habari yenu nzuri sana kabisa kabisa mnaka vizuri sana kama unaviona ay 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 Eh, ni sure ni sure bet kama no na doubt. no doubt aha eh? uh -huh. aya basi ebu start by introducing yourselves uh, my name is pastor samuel motonga uh -huh. here i am with my lovely one uh -huh. uh, yes my name is mrs motonga uh -huh. reham yeah this is the guy Yeah. yeah this is this is the guy this is the guy well, well, <laughs> eh, daddy i was asking you earlier yeah. when you refer to her which sweet names do you call her so that we can Honey, learn sweetie mommy all those sweet sweet nice things eh. it's only that i cannot call her lollipop <laughs> chum and all this but she's more than every one of those words <laughs> calling mm in my life in your life and for sure mm. i mean it you mean because i know mm -hmm. yes. and you mommy how do you refer to him honey honey i call him honey hey. love eh. yes Daddy. Da, hey, daddy. Yes. Yes. Na, hii generation inaitana zadi. Sijui kwa hiyo mmesikia. Hiyo jatufikia. Eh, I love yes. honey too. I call my person honey or love. Yes. I think it's a woman thing. Yes. Yeah, and I know today we can sit here and be happy, yes. be jovial, see the smiles, the laughter in your face, yes. but you have been through so much, yeah? But before we even get on what you've been through, how yes. did you guys meet? Okay some years back I was working with Crown Paints Kenya Limited <laughs> and I as I was working there then there is this uh, beautiful lady who joined the company and I thought <laughs> I could try it out and I, I approached Rehab my wife <laughs> who is my wife today <laughs> and uh, it began from there we first became friends uh, bearing in mind we were working in the in the same environment same <laughs> office <laughs> And uh, we picked it from there. Mm. And today we are a family. You are family. Yes. And hey, mommy, yes. upon him approaching you, yes. alikuwa mtu wa ina gani ama were you like ah, ah 
ama uliko unachora sita kwa nini when he approached you you know what happened yeah. uh, initially we were good friends when i joined the company mm -hmm. uh, he's the person who welcomed me he actually was the first person that i met in the office mm -hmm. he was good to me and uh for quite some time we were good friends and uh, I thank God because even up to day, to today, he's still a good friend. Mm -hmm. Yes. So friendship is an important is. factor when you getting to know. Ama mukiamua, I'll settle down with someone. Friendship is a very huge factor. Yeah, I, I believe it is yeah. because you get to know each other and to, okay, you, you, you care for each other. You mm -hmm. know, there's the same way you may have a, a friend of another, another nature. Mm -hmm. So when the issue of uh, courting and marriage came in, I believe it was also strengthened mm -hmm. by the fact that we were initially friends. Aha. Bukapeleka mahari ama ilikuwa kamwiste. Hapana, ilikuwa. Eh, lazima ninge vivi tumbani. Ah, lakini tulianza hiyo then uh, later on we formalized our our marriage mm. in the church. In the church. Yeah. So how were the early years of your marriage like? Wow. Wonderful. They, they were good. Uh, actually, what happened mm -hmm. uh, when now we we decided we are going to get married, mm -hmm. we decided one of us must leave the company. And uh, for in this case, uh, Sam decided to get out and he began the business and uh, he did very well in the business. So now you are here, you started your young family, yes. you have a dad is, has a business, mom is still employed yes. and the kids started coming one by one. Yes, uh -huh. at that time we, we had three three we had uh, the, our firstborn daughter mm -hmm. and uh, now the twins mm -hmm. uh, the others came later yeah uh, during uh, the turnaround when we had a turnaround mm -hmm. yes. so your early years of marriage you guys you were really happy very, very happy uh -huh. very happy yeah we when did happy. the storm come in okay the, the storm came in in the year 2003 2003 mm -hmm. And this is when the, the regime, Moyes and Kibakis were, were changing hands. You mm -hmm. can remember there was a shake-up for those who were in business. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is the same wave that uh, we were in during that time. When uh, I chose to try and look for greener pastures elsewhere, mm -hmm. and in this case I traveled to London, I remained there for three months and actually this is where I met the Lord is where I gave my life to, to Christ. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, uh, back here, my wife also gave her life to Christ in the span of one month. Mm -hmm. And uh, after three months, I came back. And when I came back, that's when this uh, thorny journey started. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I don't want to look at it on that angle only because there are also uh, uh, gold mines within that Pony path, mm -hmm. as we'll be here, in as we'll be here. So, it was a blessing in disguise, it is. It is. Mm -hmm. So, ma'am, what yeah. happened exactly? Because I know my audience are dying to understand mm -hmm. what was the storm. I think, even before sir, we could come to this uh, issue of some going to UK, mm -hmm. there's something that happened. Mm -hmm. uh, my contract in Crown Paint came to a drastic change. I mean, uh, end when I delivered my twins because I took a longer time. Uh, maternity leave. Mm -hmm. So I think that is what uh, the, com the company felt like uh, I should not continue with the with the work. Mm -hmm. And uh, I joined Sam in his business. Mm -hmm. Three months later, the business, uh, where we had the business, uh, fire brought it down. Mm -hmm. The whole building in, in the city. That's when we decided Sam to go to UK for greener pastures. Mm -hmm. He went, stayed for three months. Then came back, and uh, now this is when we were hit hard. Mm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Daddy, hit hard. What happened? I'm telling you, everything on earth happened <laughs> because the, the hell broke loose, and uh, all of a sudden, no supplies. I have a family. The the children are here. Uh, we were we were paying some mortgage. We could not continue paying. The the house was repossessed. Uh, I was playing around with finances and uh, I had taken just some little loan from, from the bank. Mm. Imagine at that time, very little money and the, the vehicle was gotten back, mm. vehicles went. Mm -hmm. All the businesses uh, began now to dwindle at a very, very fast rate. Mm -hmm. 
until I got myself to a place whereby no friends, they all ran away. I don't regret. I know it was in the divine plan of God mm -hmm. that I may learn what I've learned. So mm -hmm. we got to a place whereby even affording a meal on the table was a very big issue. Even uh, moving at that time we were in Eastlands and coming to town was also a big issue. So uh, to speak the truth, it was like I was down to nothing. I remember at times uh, we were sharing and joking with my wife that uh, everything has been taken from me apart from my name because nobody would take up my name, Sam. So I, was, I just remained with my, my name. It was not easy. Uh. It was not easy. I can tell you for a family man uh, without a house at times, without food, uh, children uh, being out of school and all these, you understand them. Mm. It was not easy. It was not oh, easy. It was not easy. Wow. Not for one year, not for two years, or a couple of years. But we yes. remained very strong, encouraging each other. Uh. As my wife is saying, yes, uh, one time as I was uh, communing with the Lord, he put it in me that uh, when a soldier trains and they complete their training, they don't come out to tell how the training was, mm -hmm. but they come out to do what they have been trained to do. Mm -hmm. We talk of the testimony as part of the training that we receive from the Lord, mm. but we can speak it when necessary because of a person who would want to be encouraged mm -hmm. uh, because of uh, what probably we have gone through and we have come out mm. successfully. Mm -hmm. And in this case, that's the reason why I believe we are speaking this. Otherwise, mm. whatever has come out of what we have gone through is the ministry that you are able to see. And every other person, when you are at your lowest, that is the time you can realize the strength that you carry. Mm -hmm. And I normally say this, and which is true. If you can defeat a situation at your lowest, mm -hmm. then there is no any other time that that situation can put you down. Can you repeat? I am saying, oui. if you defeat a situation at your lowest, yes. then there is no any other time such a situation is going to defeat you. Amen. Because you have done it at your, at your lowest. lowest. Mm. And uh, uh, so much so, I would not really want to focus on the training mm. of the soldier. Mm -hmm but on the task that he has trained Hallelujah. to do. That's yeah. important. That's important. Mm. Yes. That's important. Let's go a bit on the training yes. because he lost friends. Yes. What did you lose? You are a woman. Yes. It's so hard right now in our community yes. for a woman to stick yes. with a husband yes. when he has nothing, yes. especially coming from a place where you have everything mm. to having zero yes. so why did you stick around and what were people telling you as a woman yes uh why i stuck with sam is because uh i understood that whatever has befallen us was beyond his it was not about him i was quickly i learned or i understood that uh this is something that has befallen us it sam has not caused it it is even beyond him and so I felt the only thing that we can do, and even I encourage my children, mm. is that there's an enemy who has struck mm -hmm. and we must invade all of us. We must join hands and kick out this enemy. Mm. And uh, I must say that I encountered many people who were really uh, advocating for our separation just because Sam is not in a position to even ha offer shelter, food, school fees, but I, I ignored. I ignored because I knew. And every family, if, if, if then you can speak to almost all families, they go through, they have challenges. Mm -hmm. Even the ones that are telling us to separate themselves, they, are, they have other challenges. It's not just money. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have encountered others in yes. sickness. Others are cases mm -hmm. in courts. Mm -hmm. People go through issues. Mm -hmm. But what I had learned is that every storm that comes in our lives, it comes to make us stronger. Yes. It is a test of time. It was a test of time for our marriage yes. and as a family. And we took it very positive. Mm. I would say I took it very positive. Mm. I accepted. I remember I never hid anyone. You see, like even when the house is auctioned, mm. somebody will tell you, are you still in Saika? Our house was in Saika. 
and I would say our house was auctioned. We, I never used to take matatus. I didn't know where matatus, even where I would take the matatu from. Because some would either come and pick me from my work or even send a driver. Okay? Na sasa inafika mahali ata fea yenyewe. Ata hizo viatu zimeisha. But let me tell you, the grace of God and the wisdom of God has taught us. Mm. This is what has kept us together. Because many people, I know there are many people who know this couple. And they've always testified that if you see some somewhere, wait for the wife. Yes. She must be around. Oh, yeah. We have not separated. We did not allow anything. Poverty to separate us. Lack to separate, to separate. And one thing that I want to thank God for is that uh, even no one decided to run away or blame each other. Mm. You see, like some would have maybe run away and mm. left me with the children. Mm. But we remain close, mm. stuck together. Mm and decided that we are going to fight this enemy together. Mm. And this is what we are encouraging families and even young people because yeah. challenges must come. And that's the mission. Yes, challenges that's... will come. Yeah. Whoever will tell you that you get married and not experience challenges. Mm. It's unfortunate because when we did our wedding, yes, that colorful wedding, beautiful, we thought that this is the way we would live. Eh. Honeymoon Zanzibar. Eh. That we thought that would be our life. Um, I would say that we never got somebody to tell us that challenges would come and mm. this is the way you're going to handle. Mm. And I think this is what uh, now many young people yes. are lacking. People to tell them that, yes, you've done this wedding, beautiful, natumia pesa mingi, lakini if challenges come, how do you handle? Mm. Because they will come, how do you handle? Mm. And this is where we are saying that God is the source of even family. So if we go to him for wisdom, he will guide us. Let me tell you, as a wife and as a mother, I have seen God guiding me. Guiding me and even telling me what to do. Stand for, with my husband, stand with my children, encourage them, you know. Mm. They, I don't think some would say there's any time that he, he was unhappy because I told him maybe, or I challenged him, he was not providing. I would always be there to encourage him and telling him, you know what, mm -hmm. we will make it. We will come out of this. Amen. We must not allow this storm to kill us or to finish our marriage uh -huh. yes wow mm -hmm. now let's use that soldier analogy that mm -hmm. you used mm -hmm. don't focus on the training yes. focus on the mission yes. where have you been sent so for you right now what's the mission uh, the mission is the ministry that is already birthed mm -hmm. through the, the the storms that we have gone through mm -hmm. yes. and uh, before i come to that yes. i want to really emphasize when one is in a storm, they tend to focus so much, as you're saying, on the issues that are around them. Mm -hmm. And they forget that there is so much strength that is hidden within them that can only come out through the path they are going. Mm. Because when you're happy and doing everything is all right, you may not realize the strength in you. The potential. I have learned that there is so much strength within a family setup. Mm. So much even from the smallest, the youngest. Mm. Because even at our times of lowest, they have come and encouraged us. Mm. And we have felt, yes. Your yes. own children. Yes. yes. They have come. Mm. As mom was saying, uh, God helped us to identify who the enemy is. Actually, uh, at one point I said, mom, come. You're not my enemy. I'm not your enemy. We are not competitors. We must identify who the enemy, enemy is. is. And together with the children, parents do a mistake. When they say, I don't want my children to know mm. what I'm going through. I'm hiding this and that. Mm. Let me tell you, those are the first helpers that yes. God has given to you. Yes. Really? Yes. yes. Let them understand. Yes. Then them then uh, lift the, the burden together with you. That is the time you realize how much equipped they are. So you are saying, yeah. because I see this with so many people, yes. even I myself, yes. when I'm going through something, yes. I don't even want to tell yes. my mom because I'm like, my mom will be so anxious. My mom will worry too much. You're saying when you're going through something, the first people you should talk to are your children. Is the closest people that you have. And in this case, your, your children. children. As the scripture says, Psalms 127, uh, the, the man who has children is a blessed man because they mm. are like arrows in the quiver of a, of a warrior. Can you imagine a warrior without arrows? Now the scripture teaches us 
your children are arrows mm. in your quiver. Mm -hmm. So when you want to shoot, what do you do? You pick an arrow and you shoot at the enemy. So God likens the children with the arrows in our quiver. Mm -hmm. And the scripture continues and says, because by them you return all the battles before they enter the gate. And we have seen that work. We have seen that wisdom work. Mm -hmm. These people, your children, will be the first intercessors to pray for mm -hmm. you, to carry your burden, mm -hmm. to encourage you, because there it is more than just uh, being another person out there. They are part and parcel of, of yourself. yourself. So my, my focus here would be, as I am training as a soldier, let me, let me get out the whole potential that is in me. Yes. So that when I go to that mission, then I will be a successful one. I cannot be able to do this if I am not capable of discovering the strength that is in me, in my wife and my children. Mm -hmm. No wonder now we are coming out as a family. And I am telling you, the enemies will return at the gate. Because we have seen millions of enemies. But every time they want to invade, the soldier is there, arrows from the quiver, yeah. and we shoot the enemy. Ah, yes. And we have Power. seen it. <laughs> there, 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 there are times when my children have rescued us from situations. Talk to us of, about that. Of, of compromise. Mm. You see, like, uh, the times that have come is too much. We are forced to, to go separate way uh, for, for some little while. Mm. And then uh, handouts are being given uh, to, to my wife, uh, uh, or apart from me. Then the children would stand and say, Mom, if that person wants to help us, let him come through Daddy. Why would he want to do this to you without Daddy? We don't want that help. Hiya. Yes. And I'm receiving the help because of them, you know. Because of them. It's because of them. Yeah, these then are. Then they tell me, no, if it's not, if they want to help, let them approach Daddy. So that's the reason why I'm saying, okay, the training uh, 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 brings out mm. a lot of strength mm -hmm. uh, that we can now use in our day, daily uh, endeavors and encounters yes. as we move on out of the storm. Oh. No wonder I said now, let us not concentrate on the training, but, but concentrate on what we have been trained to, to do. do. We can confidently now say, we know there is enough strength within a family yes. to overcome mm. every, not in every, every. situation that comes uh, uh, across the way of a family. Uh -huh. yes. And that, let me ask you, how can we become strong? How can other families become strong? And where do people start? Because right now, this appears to be such a nice story, yes. but to another family, they are fighting, they are arguing, they are abusing each other. Where can people start? There are several things that I can speak about. Mm. First of all, when we are coming to, to marriage mm -hmm. with an understanding, we will be able to stand a lot of these petty, petty things. I call them petty because I've uh, engaged giants in, in marriage and God has, by the grace of God, we have been able to defeat. The, the other fact I will talk about is selfishness. Because if I was selfish, I would have abandoned my wife and my, my children to go and seek some funny, funny comfort ar around there. But it, because it's not about me, it's not about just me, I was thinking about them. Uh, then I stuck to this marriage with the understanding that I'm, I'm telling you. And that's where the strength uh, will, will, come, mm. will come from. Mm. So when I'm talking like this, you know, these are also spiritual things. Selfishness is not from God. It's of the enemy. It's, it's, it's manly. So if I'm not selfish, then it means I am loving. And we, as we were sharing with my wife sometimes back, I may have been so many times in a position not to provide for them. But what I had, I gave. Mm. Because I was not short of love. Yes. I wow. lavished showered. love, showered yeah. with mm. upon these children, mm. even when I'm coming mm. back with nothing. Yes. Today, if they hear daddy is coming back home, I'm telling you, I, I have to remove them on the path. Eh. Yeah, because that's the, that's mm. the, we are used to that. So I don't have uh, Ugali today, but I have love. Come, my children, I hug you even if we don't mm. have anything. Mm. The same case with, with my wife. Today, honey, uh, I've gotten nothing. But come here, we joke, we laugh. We mm. eat, that's what we eat. And we are full and we are happy. God. Mm. So we would not uh, sit there and say no now because this is not working let mm -hmm. me tell you 
I do not say that it is not painful to it go is. through those mm. issues. It's, it's painful very painful. Mm. Because as a man, I have shed tears on Nairobi streets so many times. Mm. Sometimes I would hide myself from people as I cry. Mm. When I remember uh, what is ahead of me, how the, the household is, uh, w- what people are thinking and seeing about me, though I never carried them as burdens, but my heart would be pained. Mm. But I refused yes. to stick in those things. Yes. I was focused with the hope that these things at one point mm. will be lifted. Mm. And one thing I've also learned is if you take this thing positively, because it may have come in your life meaning good, yes. not evil, yes. to strengthen you, yes. not to finish you, mm. to, to get the the real you and your strength yes. out of mm. the cocoon mm. where mm. you are just coiling yourself. Mm. I don't know, waiting for help from where. <laughs> <laughs> then if you take it positively, you will be surprised. Yes. Let me tell you, what we are today as a family, we would never have achieved if we continued without no, challenges yeah. that came in our life. Today, we stand somewhere and everybody says, whoa, I would say my family to be like this. Yes. But they don't know the story mm. that has brought us to here. here. Yes. Let me tell you, there is grace from God Abadant. that is enough to mm. take you through any situation yes don't even fear that you're going to die god is able to give you life Ah. your life back so what are you fearing Mm. don't fear sleeping hungry Mm. tomorrow you'll eat and grow in the dustbin yes Yes. Mm. i say let us not be short-sighted or foolish in this pattern Mm. you know a foolish person will just look at a problem and die there magnify yes but stand Mm. up yes get to understand it's your responsibility mm. and you're not doing it alone you're not alone our god is only a call away just say lord is there and he has heard mm. and he will come to rescue yes he's the one who constituted family he knows how to keep it and to run it by the way we don't run our fa- families by our own strength no this is the work of god yes he only gave us a mandate and say go and multiply and uh, uh, just, just bring us. bring forth mm. a, a godly offspring for uh, me. It's the one, he's the one who knows what he wants with mm. So we are just stewards mm. and let us turn to this occasion. Yeah. L- let us not uh, live in secrecy. Like from the time we came uh, together with my wife, the issues of finance I know is a big challenge. Yes. Right Actually, sometimes I was asked by some men, if you go out and get 100,000, would you tell your wife, let me tell you, that's not my money, it's our money. We have never had uh, that boundary. I remember even some elderly women sometimes were coming to my wife and say, "We, mutu ana jipanga, tu pesa tungine, weka kwa account, mutu ajua gitu." Ficha kando. Then my wife was saying, "If Sam is hiding nothing from me, why should I get a, another account? I will not do that." Eh. So this is the way we have lived. Uh, there was a time when I was doing business and my wife wa- was working. Mm. Yeah, actually, I was the one who was withdrawing her salary from the account, not because I'm coercing and all this. I remember when she was retrained and came to the bank, she was asked, she was told she cannot withdraw money from her account because they are not used to her signature. Hi, it yeah, is yeah, my yeah. signature yeah. that yeah. is known. Yeah. I had to be called and say, wow, you're refusing my wife to get money from <laughs> her own account. Yes. This, this is how we have mm. men. Don't hide uh, things from your wife. Yeah. Let me tell you. As a man, I know there is no one day I'll wake up and be a woman. I'll remain a man. So why should I beat my, my chest and tell him, my wife, I am a man? It is known everybody, even the children know I am a man. And they can see. Yes, because... so I don't need to prove with foolishness Aye. that I am a man. Who is dumb. I'll remain a man. Yes. I am a man. Yeah. And I should do what men are supposed to do. Uh-huh. The same case applies to her. She will always be the neck. She may support me even to lift an elephant. Yes. But I'm telling you, it's me who is lifting. She's, she's helping me. <laughs> yes. But even if it is strength, but it's still some. Yes. Let us have this understanding. Yeah. Yes. A woman who was created to be a helper to a man. The job belongs to the man. Uh, yes. And the children are there to color the whole of this good thing. Uh, and the Lord has. Uh, let us be wise. Yes. That is my point. Mommy, yes. the leader has spoken. Yes. So, so, with the women as the helpers, yes. uh, what, what's our role? What role did you play? And what are some, you know, what are some of the lessons other women mm. can pick from your story? I think what I would say is that uh, I really would thank God because of the wisdom that he gave me uh, to even support 
to support my family, to support my children, to support my husband. I will say it is not possible. It is not even easy when you choose to walk alone without the wisdom of God. God is the one who has all the wisdom and he says that if we, we are short of his wisdom, we seek for wisdom. Mm -hmm. So if we take a, like maybe if you're earning a lot of money or you have a lot of money, you are doing business, you are ahead of your man, money will control you. But if you allow the wisdom of God to control you, let me tell you, you will just be smart. So I would advise our fellow women, let mm. us seek the wisdom of God. It's not easy. To run a family, it is not easy. But when you have the wisdom of God, you will know how to relate with your husband. You will know how to relate even with the children. Mm. And you find that all the time, when there is, there is lack or there is in abundance, you are at peace. So I uh, think uh, the challenges that we are seeing as you're asking me about what is happening in Kenya yes. is that people have strayed away from God. Kenyans, uh, we are people who know that God loves us. But the way God loves us, let me tell you, we are very far from him. If only we can come back to God mm. and did they, uh, make a decision to follow God without going up and up early, let me tell you, you will see many things happening. Mm. All that you are seeing, even the family afflictions that are there, uh, separations and all this, even the murder, the, the cases that we are hearing, yes. people killing each other, mm. to an extent that you hear even a child killing another one. Yeah. All this is because families have strayed away from God. Mm. I can tell you that at the family level, there is no connection with God. People are going to church. You know, there's the church altar. Mm. Do we have family altars? Our families gathering together to worship the Lord, you will not find it. Mm. In fact, when you, because our, you ask us uh, our mission, we are going to we get invitation through our singing and uh, we are speaking to people and telling them to restore back family altars whereby uh, the parents and the children are worshiping God together. Mm. And uh, it seems like it's a foreign language. People, you will not find it. It's not, and I'm talking about Christians. It's not easy. They're not doing it. So I think we should allow God to be the source of wisdom mm -hmm. on how we are going to learn this family uh, institution. Institution. Mm -hmm. Dad, how then do we create these family altars and make them strong? And so what are some of the things you do to bond with your children? Because they are still children. So how do you bond with them? It is not an idea mm -hmm. that is coming from the moon. We all understand every time you are coming back to your house and every time these children are in the house, just have time with them. And in this case, I call it quality time. It is not time when you're drunk. It's not time when you're, you're quarreling with your wife. Mm. It, it is a time when you are doing things in a sober way mm. because uh, we are the first teachers to our children. They learn more so uh, uh, even through what they are seeing, not necessarily what we are telling them. You may tell a child to do something wrong, uh, something good that you personally are not doing. Then what do you think you're doing? They are comparing and they are seeing and they will see hypocrisy in you. And there is a very dangerous thing if the parents know the father is a hypocrite. It, it is bad. So we should be an example by what we are doing and secondly, by what we are teaching. So simply, uh, uh, what we are talking about when we say the family altar is, like when I come back in the evening, even if I am tired, I cannot uh, spare to spend five or uh, ten minutes, call my family there. Uh, before we eat, let, let's pray or let us read a verse, let us do a hymn. Mm. Uh, let us get a, a word of wisdom. Mm. Uh, this is how things are done. Uh, we read the scripture, uh, uh, learn from the scriptures and all this. If we make this a routine, I'm telling you, you'll be surprised what will be produced uh, at the end of everything. Mm. I know today uh, people have different experiences. And uh, as you began and saying you have, you, you, uh, you, ha you have come to learn every time is a separation, a separation. Mm. We, we emerge out of these situations and we, 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 are too, we emerge as two different peoples. Uh, I would say there is a teacher who is out there who teaches from the position of defeat. 
and there is another one who teaches from the position of, of success. success. I would want every parent to be a teacher from the position of success. There are those who are teaching from the position of defeat who says, don't follow that path so that you don't become what I have become. That is a good teacher, but from the position of defeat. But there is another one who will say, follow this path so that you may be what, what I have become. So may every family uh, or, or parents be mm. teachers to their children mm. from the position of, of success. success, not wow. position of, of failing. Of. Both of them will teach you and they will give warning. And that, the one who has ears will hear and they will be rescued from whatever calamity that mm. could be ahead of them. Let me tell you, our children belong to our household sometimes. Mm. They belong mm. to others out there. The teachers. Yes, the teachers. The Sunday school mm. teachers. Yes, they mm. even open up to them. We mm. have been in ministry engaging these young girls and all this. Some say openly to my wife, you know what I'm sharing with you, I cannot share with my mother. Mm. Can you imagine? So this is what I'm saying. Let parents have time with yes. their children. This is what mm. we are calling family altar. It's not a foreign language. It is something that is with you. Get the wisdom from the one who constituted uh. the family. <laughs> and then the families are going to stand. Are going to stand. When we say that we run them with our wisdom, yes. we will definitely so we'll fail. Uh -huh. we will fail. Yes. yes. And mom, you look at him with great admiration. Mm. How So many kids... And you still look at your man like this is the first time you are hearing him speak. Yes. Are you glad you stuck with him? I, I, I thank God because I would say that uh, God guided me to him. And uh, as he's speaking, he has really showered us with love. Mm, mm. You know, even in the midst of luck and uh, very hard times, when you hear somebody still calling you love, you know, hugging you, comforting you, that is what I have loved. And this is what... I could not think of leaving Sam just because he's not providing for mm, us. Mm, mm -hmm. Yes. And I was confident that God will restore us back. Yes. We're still hoping as we are moving now. You asked us the mission. Mm. I don't know whether Sam you talked about it. Mm -hmm. Yes. The mission. The mission. Now what what's you the mission? We talked about the training. We don't talk about the training, but no. uh, the mission is here. Yeah. Uh after going through all that, we feel we cannot just sit. We know there are people out there, mm. families out there, they may be in the middle of these storms. They don't know the reason mm. for why these storms came. Yes. They cannot even know how to go about them. Yeah. Mm. I am telling you, relax. There is a master around who knows how to fix these things. Mm. Yes. They could even be coming from him because he wants to strengthen yes. you. Not everything comes yes. from the devil. Take everything positive. Yes. Not everything bad comes from the no. devil. Yes. No. There, there are some bad looking things that will come our way and we may think always it is from the devil. Mm. Uh, Job, as he was going through these temptations, he said to the wife, should we receive only the good things from God and refuse to receive the bad ones? Bad in our, in our eyes. Yes. But then they are meant to bring the good that is within us, that we are just uh, uh, lying upon and hovering upon, that, that, that is supposed to come out mm. and do uh, what it was purposed to. So oh. as I'm saying now, the mission is because of these families that are out there, mm. we are coming to encourage, to bring this light, to call on parents that they may arise and do that which we have done by the grace of God. Amen. Begin from where you are. Yes. You may not be able to sing now. Sing whatever chorus that you know. Yes. You may not be able to, 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 to know how to pray. Mm. Begin mm. by even saying to God, thank you. Begin from there. Mm. Then it will grow into something that is admirable. Mm. No wonder we are launching a campaign now, mm -hmm. raising a godly generation. We are calling out there to all stakeholders. I'm not talking about well-wishers. Yes. This is not a charity work. Uh, it is stakeholders. Yes. Arise from wherever you are. And if you're there and you're called a parent, this is to you. Because this is the ministry for all parents. Whether they are God-fearing or not, it is our responsibility mm. to raise a generation yeah. that is upright, reasonable, yes. responsible, moral and respected yeah it is our call it is your and that's call. the mission that yeah. we have now yeah. as a family mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. to the churches to institutions and all this 
Yes. yes. Mommy, yes. talk to people back at home, yes. especially fellow women. Yes. When you kidogo kidogo akuna mafuta, amen. Ame eh. uh, what I would tell uh, my fellow women is that let us go back to God because he has been my source of everything. I have seen him guide me. I have seen him help me in all this. Yes. Let me tell you, when you're connected with God, you have everything, Lynn. He will teach you how to be a good mother. If you bring your wisdom and sometimes even this education, mm. it may not work. Mm. But when you are stuck with God, he will direct you. He will even uh, guide you. You pray, you make a prayer. If you don't have food in the house, you make a prayer and you just find a friend bringing a meal on, uh, to your house. Yeah. So let us not stray away from God. Mm. Because you know, women are intercessors. Women are powerful. Women can persevere. Mm. Women have all the strength. Yes. Yes. So if what about if you connect with God? You can imagine what we can be. Mm. I would say that uh, let us seek God. Let us seek God and what we are talking about family altar. Yeah. You know, we are the best place. Mm. I would say I have seen God guiding me in this, making sure that we are praying, making sure that we are gathering as a family and mm. praying. Mm. Because I'm the one cooking mostly. Yes. I'm the one in charge of Mm. cooking, mm. Uh, taking care of the children. So, mambo ya mungu, niingize hapo. Let yes. it be number one. Mm. Let me tell you, this is what has salvaged this family. Mm. Yes, our connection with God. Your connection yes. with God. Yes. And the parents who are watching you, because before we conclude, I would love your kids to join us yes. so they can sing, because I know I'm going to sit with them for a different episode, yes. but I would love for them to join us so they can close this show with some harmony. In it, harmony. Haim, Haim, Nikahim, Him, Nikahim, Him, Nikahim, yes. but before we go, where can people find you? If people want to talk to you, how can they find you? Yes, uh, right now we are in Pika, uh, we are in uh, Chania Gardens, that's mm -hmm. where we are operating from mm -hmm. and that's where we are residing. Mm -hmm. But you can reach us uh, through our telephone numbers okay. uh, or Facebook. Uh, you can you can give the Facebook our number. Can I give? Yes. Uh, the main line is zero seven seven three nine seven two two six two. The same number you can end up with number two or number three mm -hmm. because the second one is zero seven seven three nine seven two two six. Three. Mm -hmm. The first one is six two. The second one is six three. Yeah. We also have zero seven zero seven six zero five seven seven zero. Yes. Uh, Facebook is the Samuels Ambassadors for Christ. The Samuels Ambassadors for, for Christ. Christ. Yes. Or the Samuels Ambassadors to the families. Yes. You can be able to reach us through that now, and uh, we can carry on to encourage. I know you are there, and you may be feeling wow. I think the light is coming. I can see the light. Yes, the light is there. Do you? And the Lord is there for you. His constituted family. He wants you to stand and defeat the enemy that you're seeing before you. So we are here to encourage you. We yes. are here to walk with you. Give you God's counsel that your family may stand mm -hmm. up again. Mm -hmm. Yes. Lovely. Yes. And now before, before we go to our amazing episode with your kids, yes. allow me, my viewers at home, to introduce these amazing kids right here. Yes. If are as they come, where, where? <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, hey, you can just sit. Um, Daddy, you come here. Yes. Come, come. You can stand. Oh, sorry. Daddy can stand up. Last born. This is the last born of the family. Yes. And you can Hi. close this show with a hymn so that we can move on to our episode with you guys, right? Yes. Okay. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for you and for me. Watching, watching for you and for me. Come home, come home, come home, come home. You are where we come home. Honestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling all sinners. Oh, 
we have seen, he has mercy and pardon. Pardon for you and for me. Come home, come home, come home, come home. Ye who are weary, come home. Honestly, tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling us in a come home, calling us in a come home, calling us in a come home. Yes. <laughs> What an amazing episode. And guys, I want to tell you, I've been challenged. I feel like I need to be bringing you such positive content because I know Kenya, not even Kenya, the world needs it. And as you can see, such a beautiful family here. Amen. But as the parents have said, this did not come easy. Yes. We have some work that we need to put in and we need to strengthen our family unit. So you guys, if you feel like you want to talk to these guys yes. my guest today father mm -hmm. their numbers are right here and you can call them their amazing parents na hawafichi vitu by the way wameweka black ni black na white ni white hawajaficha kitu and don't go anywhere because i get to sit with these amazing kids that you can see here on this special edition episode of tuko talks coming soon thank you so much for watching my name is lynn gugi to party ningine ya mwisho sasa uh -huh. French. Yes, French, French. Oui, je passerai ma vie à dire à tous mes frères que tu es bon. Oui, je passerai ma vie à dire à tous mes frères que tu es bon. Oui, je passerai ma vie à dire à tous mes frères que tu es bon. Oui, je passerai ma vie. Allez à tous mes frères que tu es bon. Oh, donne mon cœur le rythme de ta joie. Oh, Seigneur, avec moi. Oh, donne mon cœur le rythme de ta joie. Oh, Seigneur, je passerai ma vie. Allez à tous mes frères que tu es bon. Oui. Je passerai ma vie à dire à tous mes frères que tu es bon, que tu es bon, oh, que tu es bon, tu es bon, oh, que tu es bon, que tu es bon, oh my God, que tu es bon. Okay, director Edwin Ochieng, we'll call you my guys. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>